Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will talk again about Prosper software. And in this particular video, we will use a, a very good feature in Prosper. And it is BHP, bottom hole pressure from WHP, wellhead pressure. So basically we will convert the wellhead pressure that we will provide to calculate the bottom hole pressure. Okay, and I use an already built or generated model, well model. So I'm just going to introduce you a little bit about the model. I double click on this section. So this is a retrograde condensate model for the fluid and it's a compositional fluid model. And equation of state method, prosper internal EOS model, multi-stage separator, but actually it's not the main point of the exercise that we will perform. And for the completion, it's a case hole, single branch. Well, flow type tubing flow, this is important, and well type producer, okay? Remind this one, remember this one, flow type is tubing flow. So that's for the option summary. And here we have compositional fluid. Okay. We already have the fluid model imported into the Prosper from another software. Okay. PVTP from Patex as well. As well, we analyze the fluid model, the compositional fluid model there and we generate a file, okay? A file containing all the information about the fluid, and then we import onto the Prosper. So we already have this one prepared. And let's check the IPR. This also has been computed. So you see the reservoir pressure, temperature, gas oil ratio, and so on and so forth. And reservoir model, we will use petroleum experts model. Here we have a mechanical geometrical skin. We input manually mechanical skin to be five. Okay, done. And we can also check the this one, equipment data. Let's check deviation survey, downhole equipment, geothermal gradient, average capacity as usual. Maybe we can also check the summary. The Christmas tree, to be casing, the depth, draw down hole. So it's like this, no artificial leaf, no pump. It's a natural flowing condensate well. Christmas tree, tubing and casing. The tubing is quite big, four inches casing 8.3 inches so it's a big well click on done and done and click on edit to check so this is the deviation survey it's a vertical well we can also check the plot okay it's a vertical well finish and then click done this is the well configuration you can see the inside diameter of the tubing roughness and then casing inside diameter. It's a deep well. The end of the tubing is located at 11,800 feet and the casing, the, the bottom of the casing at 12,000. Geothermal gradient. And lastly, typical average capacities. Okay. Now before finally go to this feature, bottom hole pressure from well had pressure, let's perform the nodal analysis first. So we click on calculation, system, IPR, and VLP. Okay, and then this is the window. Top node pressure, 2,500. It has high pressure, you know. Even the well had pressure is already very high, 2,500. Total GOR, this one. And we need to remember this, top node pressure and total GOR. 
and vertical lift correlation that we use petroleum experts 5 solution node bottom node rate method automatic geometry okay so now we need to calculate show calculating data okay all right completed so this is our nodal analysis inflow versus outflow inflow is of course the you know this red curve whereas the outflow is shown by this blue curve so at operating point we can produce the gas rate we can produce the gas at rate of 37 mmscf per day with oil or condensate rate almost 5000 stock chamber per day no water production so it's zero water zero water cut so the liquid rate is also 4965 stock chamber per day solution node pressure which is the bottom hole pressure it's important 5100 psig okay we can also click on plot system plot plot all cases x-axis variable gas rate y-axis vlp and ipr click on done so it's like this okay and what we need to remember is this top node pressure and then total gor water water gas ratio gas rate and solution node pressure okay so let's go ahead click on done and now we can directly go to this one bottom hole pressure from wellhead pressure or we can also go to calculation and check it here bottom hole pressure from wellhead pressure so let me click on that okay so this is our window tubing correlation or vertical lift correlation if we want to follow the previous calculation in nodal analysis we can open and select petroleum expert 5 pipe correlation it's not very important first node wellhead okay so we will start from the wellhead this is our top node and gas fraction total gor just like we had in nodal analysis section and for the water fraction we can also use water gas ratio okay so now we will calculate and we have several columns here the first one is time but for steady state or pseudo steady state calculation time is not really important right but we need we still need to input the time so let's say day one and gas rate okay checking or considering the previous calculation in nodal analysis section let's say we want to try our calculation or our computation results from nodal analysis so we follow the results there the gas rate previously is 37 mmsf per day with wellhead pressure or top node pressure if i'm not mistaken 2500 wellhead head pressure i'm not so sure so let's click on done first or maybe cancel let's check the geothermal gradient 70 okay 70 degrees so cancel now i win i will go to this section okay so petroleum expert 5 total gor well had water gas ratio 1 37 70 degrees fahrenheit total gor if i'm not mistaken is 7500 water zero so now we can freely or we can easily calculate by clicking on this calculate button finish and you see the bottom hole pressure 
is around 5,000, which is very close with what we have in previous calculation from nodal analysis. So let's say I'm going to copy and let's just check the nodal analysis. Okay, click on done. So I input in the bottom hole pressure from wellhead pressure, I input the total GOR of 7,500, which is very close. And also gas rate 37, which is very close. Solution node pressure. You see, we have 5,080 in the previous calculation, but now in nodal analysis, we have 5,100, which is very close. So you can see now we have connection inside all the features of the PROSPER, right? So nodal analysis confirming the result from bottom of pressure from wellhead pressure and vice versa. So again, let's click cancel and let's see. Now our bottom of from wellhead pressure feature already checked. You see the symbol here, red color. It means we already have something inside this feature. So let's go back and then, yeah, this is our first calculation. You can see there, if I change it to be even more close, even closer to the nodal analysis calculation, I should input 7,432 and this one should be like this. And then we just calculate right now we are getting even closer to what we have in nodal analysis so i'm going to check whether the time is important so i click on copy and then let's just paste and change it to 10. calculate you see the same thing so in this pseudo steady state calculation the days is not very important. And if I change it even to 1000, let's see. Right. But if I change, for example, the tubing correlation, it will be important. Let's change it to Bex and Brill instead. So you remember this value. You see. They are different, but it's quite close with what we have using the Petroleum Experts 5, right? And Duns and Rose also different. Okay, now Let's see if we go back to Petroleum Expert 5. Okay, by the way, in practice, in day-to-day -day job, in order to calculate or in order to determine the best tubing correlation to use, you need to actually perform the flowing pressure matching. Okay, if you have traverse data, pressure traverse data from, for example, bottom hole flowing pressure or flowing gradient survey you get the gradient the the measurement for the fluid gradient and you need to import it into the prosper and perform matching to find the best tubing correlations to use okay but now let's say i just change it to two three four and let's vary the vary the flow rate, for example, starting from low and then 20, 30. And then let's say it's just for exercise. Okay. Okay. It's like this. Let's say total GOR and water gas ratio do not change. Calculate. 
okay so you can see and let's say we click on plot linear and y-axis gas rate click on done so you see we have that okay the gas rate increases well head or manifold pressure like this bottom hole flowing pressure like that okay so you see here at the highest gas flow rate you can see that the bottom hole pressure increases whereas the wellhead pressure decreases so it's interesting all right and you need to actually go into the detail into the formula into the correlation into the mathematics actually to to find why this happens so if you click on done you see here at 13 mmscf per day the bottom of pressure increases whereas at 20 the bottom of pressure as is at the lowest so maybe it is because the fluid dynamics maybe because remember we are dealing with condensate we are not to discuss that here in this particular video but we actually the the main focus of this video is to show you how easy it is to calculate the bottom hole pressure given you already have the wellhead pressure and other parameters like gas rate well temperature gor and water gas ratio all right so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video is useful thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next hangman prosper videos thank you